Hi, this is Dominic Giles, and I wanted to give you a quick demo of application continuity that's shipped inside of Oracle Database 12c. And it's designed to mask errors that may be returned in the advent of losing a resource. And this might be losing a node inside of a rack cluster, it might be um, some other issue such as a transaction being fully committed inside of the database but the information not being propagated up the stack to the application and leaving us in an unhandled and unknown state. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to fire up two instances of the Swingbench load generator and we're going to point them at our four node rack cluster. The top load generator in this instance is connected using the standard um, fast connection failover driver and the load generator at the bottom is connected using the application continuity driver. Other than that, both load generators are exactly the same. Um, they're connected um, to the Oracle database using Oracle's connection pool, UCP, Universal Connection Pool. Um, and um, we can go now, just start the load running. So, start on the top one and at the bottom one. And again, as I mentioned before, all of the transactions are running against the same cluster. In this instance, we've got four nodes and we're seeing roughly about 800 transactions a second. And if we uh, um, take a look at how those uh, connections are um, load balanced, what we should see is roughly equal numbers of connections across all four nodes. So let's um, now go through and uh, simulate a failure. In this instance, what we'll do is we'll generate uh, an unexpected failure. We'll kill off PMON on node 4. And so let's just find out what that process is. Okay, so let's just kill that. Okay. Right, so we've killed off PMON. And now what we should see is um, a termination or a port brief cessation in transactions committed against the database. The difference is in the top load generator, the one using fast connection failover, we've got lots of errors returned from the database to the application which have to be handled. In the bottom one, um, the load generator doesn't receive those errors, applications carry on operating as normally, and in fact most of our end users will never know that there's a problem that's actually occurred in this environment. What we can see here is that after the failure, the connections have been successfully uh, load balanced against the surviving three nodes in our um, uh, cluster. So that's application continuity. And the beauty of the solution is it protects us against all of those unknown uh, um, situations where transactions commit successfully in database and we don't know about it. It means that we can protect our applications against planned and un unplanned uh, outages uh, and works against rack and data guard. Thanks very much.